Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we're going to get started on our first, uh, oh, what the hell is it called? Our first, um, league match. There we go. Yeah, our first league match. Um, now, before I get started, in between the episodes, I was able to sign, um, another wing back. Um, we just needed some extra coverage, um, for, for a lot of reasons. Um, the first few matches here are going to come pretty quick. There's not a whole lot of rest in between, so you're probably going to see a lot of, uh, rotation over the next couple matches, next three, probably four matches even. Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much all that changed, uh, I think. So, yeah, um... Let's go ahead and get into this. Oh, Harala, you probably haven't seen me use him. Well, I know you haven't seen me use him. And the reason being is because he was cup-tied, um, so I couldn't use him in those matches. He had already played for another, for his original club and the cup. So now he's over here, and now he can play in the league. Um, we still have some injuries on uh, Ramasaho, and uh, we're starting to fill out our bench, though, at least. Um, uh, I'm going to sit Onal for this match. Um just because he needs a little bit of rest and um viking it is a little bit uh they're not bad um i'm just gonna say that hopefully we can come out of here with a win but we'll see <laughs> um yeah we'll 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 just have to we'll just have to give it a go and and see what happens because there's like i said they're pretty similar to us in terms of um in terms of uh, talent, uh, and they're playing this little, the same little Christmas tree-ish formation, ish sort of kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I not like I said, I'm not quite sure how we want to deal with this formation because of where everyone is and how they're bunched up. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna go with what I know and really lock down those those front three players, the two. Uh, middle attacking midfielders and and the striker um yeah hopefully we can get off to a good start here but uh we'll 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 see uh i hate when they say i think we should try and encourage the team what's that what's that go and have some fun tonight come on lads show me what you can do uh i'm gonna go with come on lads show me what you can do yeah, they seem to respond all right to that but um yeah like i said uh we, we do have some a little bit of depth and we'll be able to rotate over the next few matches i think michaela might actually end up sitting i might actually end up taking him off the starting 11 for now just because you know with harala now being able to play oh but you saw that run that michaela was making up there right he was making that run right up here you know he you know, would have been able to hold the ball up a little bit better there we go nice Nice. Good start. Good start. I'm okay with that. Yanni Heitinen. I think that's his name. Yanni, I think. I think it's his first name. Um, yeah. That, that's something, too. As as we get deeper into this um, LP, you will see me, you know, refer to people by their first name. <laughs> So if that if that's weird in any way, shape, or form, I mean, I'm gonna you know obviously use their last name, but I mean it's just you know I, I get attached like I said to my players, especially the ones that I end up bringing in. You know these ones like like these guys not so much. You know at least not right away. That's a dangerous pass. I did not like that. It's a good thing they didn't have a wide player out there. That was a little bit too too slow. No oh oh no. <clears throat> But, um, not a bad start, though. Um, you don't see, uh, that's one thing, too. Like, I have not seen, like, that, that playoff of the set piece off of a free kick like that. You don't see that very often in this game. That's, that is a very rare occurrence, at least, you know, at least for me. I mean, I, I honestly used to, um, on FM12, damn it. On FM12, I would, uh, always have at least a player or a couple players that were good free kick takers because you could score off of those and it, it and it paid dividends to have a couple like you know free kick specialists you know because you could score a good five six seven goals off of that you know throughout the course of a season but i haven't seen as much of it on this one even though i have some decent ones i don't have any you know legit you know magicians but um 
Oh, it. Okay, there we go. He's getting a little afraid there. I was like, we don't really want to go. Oh, Safari, that's the that's the fucking player that I'm pretty scared of. Actually, he frightens me. He's a bit of a pretty good striker. Um, and in truth, you know, it's it's just one of those things that I'm kind of afraid of. And by the way, I like Viking. It's kits there. Uh, they're, they're they look pretty cool. I like red. In case in case. <clears throat> oh my god. In case I haven't. I haven't said that before. I like red a lot. A lot. A lot. So, I still haven't gone and changed our third kit yet. Um, and and in, in case you're going to get all pissy, the reason why I use the football editor, the real-time editor, to change those is because I wish that was a function, and I believe that's a function they should put in the game. Because you know clubs change their kits i know some of these lower clubs obviously won't have the money or the financial backing to go and change their kits every season i get that that's okay but you know if if you watch football at all you see clubs change their away kits or third kits pretty much every season or you know pretty frequently um and like i said i think that's something that they should allow as part of the game let you go in and dick around with the kits so that's why i go and do it now I just go and dick around with a third kit usually and usually keep like the home colors which is usually a traditional thing you keep the home colors oh it's too late on that pass keep the little home colors and and change the away in the third kits so yeah i will go and change those maybe after this season i don't know it depends on how often we play in that yellow and it makes me mad we probably won't play on that yellow very often because you tend to play in your home kits a lot regardless of whether you're at home or not that's a good goal nice 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 two up inside of 20 minutes i'm okay with that i'm okay with that see like i said i think because of our formation and the pretty good quality of players that we have i think we're going to do pretty well i really do i i think this season's going to be i mean this is a team like i said when i looked at their players they're all players that you know, could potentially start on this club, especially Safari. I mean, Safari would probably be our our starting striker if we had him over here. So I mean, it's it's definitely you know a, a good test, a good a good litmus test for us. I mean, yeah, we do need to retain possession. Actually, I need to check that. Oh shit! Did I even do that? Oh my! I need to go. Actually, I need to check that. He might not have any of our. Oh wait, no, we have our instructions. What are our, our instructions? Okay. I was going to say, wait a minute here. Because <laughs> I know those reset when you import a uh, formation like I did from my other file. But anyway, um, like I said, this is a pretty good test. I mean, if you look at the stats, they've got a lot of possession. I don't like that too much. I don't like seeding too much possession. I mean, it... Our formation, our formation isn't the best at retaining possession and truth. I mean, it's just the way it is. It's kind of built to, I guess you could say it's just kind of built as a, a, a counter-attacking formation. You know, and that's kind of the way it ends up being. Oh. Which thus means, you know, we need to have quality defenders. Oh my god, what the hell. We need a better goalkeeper. Absolutely need a better goalkeeper. He's been not for that one howler in the last match, and now, now obviously hasn't gotten over it. That's something too that that I wish they would go a little bit more into. Like they can have like there's no there's no like written or recorded um uh what do you want to call it written or recorded uh ooh evidence nice pass nice. Written or recorded, um, oh god, like, uh, like no real record of them going through, like, mental issues. I mean, I don't mean that in a weird way, but I mean, like, yeah, a poor run of form, like, you know, you'll have a goalkeeper, and the only thing, or a goalkeeper, a striker, you'll have a striker that goes through a run of form where he is just, cannot score, no matter what he does, you know, it's in, you know, and which is real which I like. I like how they kind of throw those like human elements in there where a player just has a poor run of form, but there's no 
like I said, there's no there's no news about it in the game or anything like that. Or you can't talk to the player like his form. I mean, you can a little bit, but not be like, yo, dude, your your form sucks right now. What's up? Ooh, he almost had the hat trick. You know, and and you can't really do anything to like fix it either. You know, I mean, it's pretty much just let him work through it. You know, which is which is fine. I mean, like I said, I mean, I don't expect to, you know, fix it easy button like the little fucking staples button. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just want some, ooh, ooh, ooh. I just want, you know, at least have some sort of interaction with that. I think that would be really cool in the game. You know, like I said, like, all of a sudden our, you know, goalkeeper makes a huge mistake and now he's going to be shaky at the back. You know, I wish there were things that you could do just to hit, you know, calm him down, talk to him personally, something like that, you know. But, I mean, I, I guess, you know, a game has to have some weak points, right? I mean, I guess that's one of them. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too butthurt over it. It would just be something that I would that would be cute to add. You know, be part of your man management. Ooh, nice. Oh my God, our passing has just been sublime. Of course, we missed one right there because he had Michaela wide open up there on the right hand channel. But but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna replace Michaela here at halftime. I think and put in Harala and just see how that goes. Just to see, because he is better and a bit more of a defensive player. I mean, Michaela is good though, and, and that's something too. Like Michaela and Harala are both very, very versatile. They can play pretty much anywhere up there, up front. So um, we have lots of options when it comes down to do team selection, especially in the front end, and that's nice. And also in midfield, I mean, we got a slew of people who could all play midfield positions. I mean, Harala being one of them, you know. Ooh, Hananen. We can play Hananen up there, but we need to change the formation. And I want to get him up out there because he's he's pretty good. Hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And it seemed confused and demotivated. Okay, that's interesting. I'm getting the feeling that this is kind of a... I didn't know I said this before. I'm getting the feeling that this is kind of a very professional squad meaning they, they need to be challenged and pushed like like right there you know although i never do it on a, on a three goal lead but you know it's one of those things where you, you know tell them not to get complacent even with a three goal lead you know i think that may have been an okay thing to say to these guys just because like i said i mean in general they seem to be pretty professional and they want to play pretty well you know they, they, they don't like being uh you know just encouraged like good job guys good effort no, they, they like being a little more challenged, a little bit more, being demanded, you know, demanding a performance of them and shit like that is what we what we should be really doing. So, it should be, it, it, like I said, it, it, that fits me pretty well because that's usually how I manage clubs in this game. I'm not really, you know, one of those little caretakers where it's like, you know, good effort, guys, you know, shit like that. I just, you know... I expect, like I said, you know, certain level. I mean, there's certain times, you know, like like I said, like with the FC Lati match, you know, all right, yeah, I can't be too hard on them, you know. I mean, it's we weren't expected to win that, but you know, like league games, you know, I think there's a lot of parity in the game, and especially uh, you know at the levels that we play at, you know, there's a lot of parity, you know, meaning ooh, Safari is hurt. That's cool, you know. There's a lot of parity, meaning you know everyone's pretty much level. Especially, I think, in this league, I think everyone's pretty level, and which is good. You know, it gives you quality competition, and and it gives us a chance to to, to really challenge ourselves and, you know, put together a good run of form and demand to put together better runs of form even when it, you know, falls falls apart. And, and, and that may be one of the... Ooh, get that... Ah, God damn it. Oh, look at that. Harala scores an own goal. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's just great. Now, see, this is a dangerous spot we're in now because 3-1 and one thing's, you know, they, they didn't... If you would have read the little captions when, when I gave the team talk at halftime and said they're delighted and all that good shit, you want them to be motivated. You know, delighted, I've... I've come to the realization, especially in this iteration, like in, in FM12, they, like if, if it was just green bars, basically, you know, you could expect a certain, you know, level of performance, but you have to have them motivated in this one. And 
and that's that's a big part of making sure they play well you know and sometimes even though you don't get green bars sometimes keeping them from being happy about it i know that sounds weird but sometimes you know keeping them from being happy oh that's a gorgeous pass keeping them from being happy about the situation is better than having them oh we're delighted you know because then you get that dip in form and they just kind of go out there and you know mope through the second 45 minutes oh and that's one of those things that you clearly don't want because then you let clubs get back into it um and I mean, don't get me wrong, a 3-1 win, yeah, if this was, oh, that was close. If this was, you know, the last 10 minutes of the match, I would be okay with where things are going, but, you know, I, like I said, I mean, I think Oulus is going to be a pretty prominent fixture here, taking out Nermela, to be honest with you. I, I kind of like that idea, because um, obviously, as I said before, he's older, and which means he's going to fade a lot quicker in your matches. And Owusu obviously is a lot younger and is a bit more of a defensive slash. I mean, he's, he is, he's a defensive midfielder, really. But he's got a little bit of, a, of an offensive tinge to him. So that deep-lying playmaker role would be good for him, I think. Give us some fresh legs in midfield. And we'll see how it goes, obviously. But, you know, like I said, that's that's something we should we should uh, keep our eyes on. Um going forward because i i think i think he's gonna work out pretty well um and that's something too i usually have i usually try to use all my my substitutions and i like to make my substitutions around the 60th minute um we're gonna make them a little late like i said you saw me make that first one at halftime with harala just because i wanted a lot of time for harala to go out there and play because i think like i said i think that's gonna be I think he's going to be out there playing that position here before long and take it away from Michaela. As, as much as I like to play the youngsters, I think just, oh, that was, see, and this is, like I said, you know, 3-1, you feel safe, and that's that's not right. You shouldn't feel safe for 3-1 because if you get that goal and it's a 3-2 match and all of a sudden the game is on, you know, and, you know, it's it's just not it's just not a good situation to be in, really. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see, what else, who else do we have to throw in there? Um, like I said, I usually try to use at least two substitutions by the 60th minute, um, and then depending on, obviously, the league and the match, stuff like that, um, hang on to that last one. Ooh, that was a nice strike. Hit that with some venom. Um... You can try and sometimes hang on to that last one as an injury one. Um, especially in these lower leagues when you don't have as good of a team. Um, just because, you know, you, you don't really want to go down a man in a match. That it's 1-1, one, one, you know, because you you used up all your, your uh, substitutions and you have a guy injured. So that's going to be something, like I said, we'll probably end up using at least two and probably hold on to that last one like we are right now just in case, you know, something happens, and then, you know, maybe, maybe make that substitution with, uh, you know, another 10 minutes to go in the match or something, and, oh boy, see, like I said, that, where those, where these wingers sit, because of all the action that goes on in midfield, they sit right on this box, right on the corner of the box right here, and usually end up pretty open. And if we can find them, and like I said, once we get familiar with this, with the formation and where everyone's going to be in the attacking end, as we start to find them, you're going to see a lot of opportunities like that. Now, in that opportunity right there, I would rather see Harala take a shot, but instead of just waddle around with it. Oof. God. A lot of near, near goals. We have three clear-cut chances and three goals. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, yeah, I'm... I'm gonna say those are probably the goals that we use. that uh, the clear cut chances are probably where the goals came from. In all honesty, ooh, oof, 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 mm. just a bit too much weight on that pass. See, yeah, like I said, that's where you know, because of the way they attack, especially the inside forwards, really attack that channel on the corner of the box. 
it really creates a lot of chances. It really gives us three men in the box, basically, instead of just one or two. And that was frightening. That was very frightening, actually. Oof. I think, like I said, I think Owusu will do pretty well. I mean, I, I may, I may end up dropping Nermela to the bench. I mean, it just depends on how things go. And then, and then substitute, make that swap with Owusu and Nermela, just for the experience late in matches. You know, and in truth, ooh, not a good pass. Yeah, Harala's making a case to start over there. Definite case. We might, yeah, yeah. Yeah, shit. We're gonna have. We're gonna need. To, we don't have very many defenders too. I, I should. I should mention that. Like Groundholm and Hinkala and Heighten and actually we'll probably have to move Heighten in over to the middle in the next match and then put in Arins to cover. Um. Oh, jeez. Ugh. And that's one thing I hate. I hate how they do that. The goalkeepers catch the ball and then like slide out of bounds on their feet. I hate that shit. You know, that does not happen in a real football. I've never seen that happen, ever. You know, I mean, it, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't, I don't care how bad a goalkeeper is. I have never seen that shit. And it gives away so many needless corners that it's unbelievable. It pisses me off so much. Because if you don't know the rules in football, I mean, the whole ball has to cross over the line. The whole thing, not just a little bit. So... Theoretically, as long as the ball is in the field of play, the goalkeeper or whoever can have his hands on it and hold it out, you know, in the field of play and be standing out of bounds. And, and the ball will not be ruled out. And Viking is putting together a late surge here. That's kind of worrying me. But, like I, like I was saying, I mean, and it's just one of those things where it's not going to happen, you know, like I said, maybe one of those weird, weird off chances like in the last game where the goalkeeper just fucks up, you know, and gives away a free kick, you know, that that happens. But it happens way too much, way too much in this game. And even with good goalkeepers, although not as much anymore with mine than I've got on, on Galway. I don't know why. For whatever fucking reason, but I mean, you have to be a pretty good goalkeeper to not just run out of bounds with it all the fucking time, and it's it's really annoying. Like I said, I mean, I've seen some pretty bad keepers, and I've seen keepers have pretty bad nights, and you know, not seen them do stupid shit like that. Oh, 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 that was that was tasty. Um, you're starting to see some pretty good passes here too. You know, like I said, I mean, it's. The formation starts to come together, and you see glimpses. You'll see matches like this where a lot of the offense and a lot of things like that, and we did work on our attacking movement, too. That is something I should mention. All right, full-time, nice. We did we did work on our attacking movement and practice over, over the time between games, and you can see a product of some of that, but most of it's them getting to figure out the the the, the formation. Yeah, I, uh, fuck you. You're all confused and demotivated. I really don't care. That's one of those things where, yeah, three goals in the first half, and you allow one in the second, which was really no reason to. Although they committed a shit ton of fouls. That's something, by the way, you know, that you have to kind of, you know, kind of pay attention to. The foul count in matches can really dictate who has a good match and, and where things go. You know, he, this could easily be reversed, and we could lose three one. It's it's even though the team is inferior to us, it's it's really something to keep your eye on, and it's something that if you're playing this game, you need to as as you see it unfold, you need to make make adjustments so that they don't continue making all these fouls because eventually the match will get away from you. You know, people will get yellow cards, and then they'll just start playing like shit. But anyhow, um, uh, that about does it for this episode. We're off to a good start. So um, our next match, yeah, will be another league match. We, like I said, we got a bunch of them in quick succession, so you'll see a huge, huge rotation over the next few games. But anyhow, um, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.